There's not too many things that will just completely drive me up the wall. The social and the media world often are those, uh, those few moments that uh, just drive me insane. The things you'll see in the news, the things you'll hear people say, can just leave you speechless. I get left speechless all the time. Uh, I uh, was flipping around on YouTube, and I often try to find YouTube videos that aren't just comedy or aren't just stunt videos or music videos or makeup shenanigans, whatever. Uh, I try to find things that uh, are a little different and that is really hard to do on YouTube because like I've said before, like a billion other people have said before me, YouTube is for people in the age of 13 to 17, boys and girls, just those who have the free time for it, I guess. But uh, I found something, and a quote that I found was, if you agree 100% with anyone, you're probably an idiot. This world is filled with people who flip-flop their own stories. My advice, take everything with a grain of salt. Don't ever buy the package until it works itself out. And then, of course, because it was YouTube, he had a joke to add to that. That's why I waited a few generations to get an iPod. Now, I did the exact same thing, actually. I... I, I Got the fifth generation classic iPod, but uh, you, you know what he was talking about was that uh, he was talking about not believing in the full story, uh, not taking in everything you hear in the media. Um, I recently watched a documentary that blew my mind because things blow my mind all the time. I'm just a simpleton. Look at me. Simple. But uh, it was the uh, it was a documentary on a lady who sued McDonald's for her coffee being too hot. Now I had n always heard jokes about this, and I thought it was a recent case until I found out that it was a case in the early '90s. And there was all sorts of things that people were saying about it. You know, she was just another stupid white woman driving down the road with her coffee and just spilled it on herself somehow. And what it came down to be was that she was actually just parked in the parking lot with her grandson uh, trying to put cream into her coffee and it just kind of spilt over and literally practically burned through her legs. She had over $10,000 in injuries with, with medical bills and everything. And apparently McDonald's only offered them 800 and that was before they decided, or that was around the time that they're like, hey, you know, your coffee is too hot. You've, you've wronged not only us, but apparently 700 plus other people have had injuries to the same similar extent. And it took an 81-year-old woman to be the one to say, hey, this is wrong. It's time to do something. Now, the documentary I watched was fairly feminist, but it was... Amazing because I, I had always heard about that and laughed about it. I mean, like, yeah, okay, frivolous lawsuits. They are out there. They exist. They are in our everyday society. But that blew my mind. It was just something that I saw and was like, whoa. And, you know, I showed the clip to a few other people and everyone was joking at first, laughs all around. And then all of a sudden you show the one scene of actual photos and testimony from her and everyone just goes silent it speechless speechless what can you say to something like that like maybe there are frivolous lawsuits maybe there aren't any maybe everything that goes to court in the wild court system we have I know nothing about law but Maybe there are none. Maybe there are a ton. Maybe every lawsuit is frivolous. Maybe it's all something that can be avoided. You know, maybe it is. 
Maybe everything can be avoided, but maybe everything can't be avoided. You can't say anything one way or the other because people are people and will always do dumb things. <sighs> I feel like I've just spewed a bunch of BS. But that's why you can't ever take anything for 100%. Maybe you sit here and you listen and you watch my show and you think, wow, yeah, everything he says is pretty dead on. I like this guy because everything he says is pretty much what do I agree. Or maybe you're one of the many people who watch this show and go, yeah, you're, you're something else. I don't agree with you at all, but I guess, uh, yeah, yeah. But I, there's just so much out there. It's like, what, what can you understand? What can you agree with? What can you disagree with? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I don't know.